Good morning, folks. This is January Arctic methane changes. Look in the center to see just how much methane emissions have increased. Most of you recognize last year's Arctic ice melt map. Interesting when I overlay the methane. The quake watch took a day off, much deserved after that wild start, but the buoy jacked by one of the Santa Cruz quakes is still sitting about a meter higher above the sea floor than it had been. Southwest Pacific, as expected, the moisture caught in that low is drenching New Zealand right now, has done so for about a day. The southern hemisphere high pressure systems move counterclockwise and will bring a lot of rain to Brisbane to start the week. New Zealand is in for more as well. Big blue low over Europe, it's these that spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. Slight bad news for Europe as it's going to get cold this week. Let's take a few seconds for the other watch zones around the world. At this time of year, you pretty much get some of the same storm zones popping up every day in Africa, Central and South America, especially over Brazil and parts of the Amazon. Major precipitation totals yesterday, lake effect snow dumped on New York, Pennsylvania and up to Nova Scotia. One isolated blue low in the center of the U.S. causing some precipitation in temperature deltas today. Already saw how that eastern low is driving a snowstorm, but the western low is taking warmer air up the southern edge from the Pacific right near the U.S.-Canada border, dropping some rain and snow there. You can see all three of the cells on this visual. Solar wind. The weekend began with a moderate solar wind stream, and yesterday I believe we took a very weak CME impact. Shields handed it like a champion. It's only in the aftermath, the wake of that CME, that some PC1 pulsations are present. We did not yet see the corona hole impact. Need to watch for that today and possibly to last for a few days. The central sunspot is by himself again after some decay next to it, putting the focus squarely on the northeastern development where 11667 has a beta magnetic class. It's noteworthy that Stereo B shows another active region turning in now behind it. Looking at the planets, Mercury set to pass between the Sun and Uranus today. Turning around, zooming out with Mercury and Mars just to the Sun's east and tilting to see Neptune is there as well. We've shown this before, the geocentric conjunctions are beginning today and last through the 11th when the Moon cuts through. Umbral magnetics and coronal hole openings just before the quake watch began. The disappearing field lines on the right coincided with the quakes and the filament eruptions. It began to come back and fully did so as the quakes died down yesterday. Then last night as green appears on the south, it disappeared again, leaving one band of field lines between the coronal holes. You can see those field lines here correlated between those coronal holes that were green and red colored on the previous images. We have a lot to watch for. The quake watch has been a success, but let's hope the backside is a bit more calm. We'll leave you with some shots of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.